Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a little bit of a getting ready with me type thing, but I'm going to try out a lot of new products. I went to Ulta and picked up some things that were new in the store. They were having like, well, a few brands were having like a sale that was buy two, get one free. So there's going to be a mix of like new stuff and old stuff in this get ready with me because I didn't get something for every part of my normal routine. But I'm going to start off with my foundation primer, which is this Laura Mercier foundation primer. I think I've told you guys I use this. So next, I'm going to try out the first product that I got, which was the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover 24 Hour Foundation, and I got the color 302 Creamy Natural. This is a new product to me. I don't know if this has been around for a while. This is all like new to me type thing. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on the back of my hand here. I'm going to take my beauty blender that I've been liking to use lately. This product is very moussey. I'm just gonna start dabbing it on our face. So this definitely covers well. Like I don't think I'll have to go in with any kind of concealer for like blemishes or red areas or anything after. Something that I always, oh my goodness, in the viewfinder, this looks so light. But in real life, this actually does not look that light. Or like, it looks like too light for my face in the viewfinder, but it actually looks like a pretty good match in real life. Something I want to say about the packaging with this foundation is it is in this like squeezy tube and I hear so many people now like talk about how much they really like foundations that have a pump but honestly I like this because I know I will be able to get the maximum amount of product that I can out of it. Pumps sometimes don't give you all the product but I feel like this is a great way to get all the product. Um, what do you guys think of it? I think that it definitely is full coverage. It's more of a matte finish. Did they claim for this to be matte? The back of it has like these little details and one of them is that the texture would be airy and light. And definitely the texture is very light, moussey almost. Um, the finish is natural so it doesn't claim to be matte or radiant but I would definitely say that this looks more on the matte side. Um, and it says 24 hour wear and the coverage is high. I would definitely say the coverage is high. I'm sure this is even buildable if you, like I can still see my freckles and stuff, but I like that. I don't really like when I can't see those things. So moving on, I'm gonna go in with my concealer that I've been using for under my eyes, which is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I've been using this for a while now, so no, it is not a new product to me. Well, not a while, I've been using this for like three weeks. Um, and it definitely brightens my under eyes very well. And then I just take my beauty blender. So now that I have that under my eyes, you can see they look a little brighter. I'm going to go ahead and set it with this Maybelline Master Fix Loose Setting and Perfecting Powder. I've been using this for a few weeks as well. I like to set my under eyes with this because it's a white powder. I try banana powders and stuff and I just, I don't know. I think they're not bright enough. I have really pale skin so maybe in the summertime I like a banana powder but not right now. So I set that. Alright, so I've waited and the first thing I'm going to do is just dust off the extra powder. And then I'm going to go in with this Laura Mercier translucent powder. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just bronze up, contour my face a little bit. And one of the products that I got today was this L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible Contour Blending Sponge. I've never had a sponge that was specifically for contouring. I looked around the drugstore to see if they had a good um, cream bronzer that I would want, but I really didn't find anything. So I just decided I'm gonna try it with my regular powder. We'll see how it goes. But this might be better for cream. Draw contour and highlight lines using the tips of the blender. So I'm supposed to use this tip and then with the flat side, I am supposed to blend and diffuse. And I don't know if that means this flat side or this flat side. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to wet this first. I feel like I'm not. So it doesn't say anything about wetting it, so I'm just gonna not wet it. All right, so I'm gonna take the this bronzer I've been using for a long time. This is just the Tarte, the Park Avenue Princess bronzer anyways. So I put some, that looks really scary. I'm probably not doing this right. So there's my line, definitely a line. 
I'm going to use the flat side, so this side I'm guessing, to blend and diffuse. Hmm, I definitely blended it. Yeah, I don't know if I love this, but I'm going to use the rounded flatter end first for the or for this side. Okay. So my face is like really red and irritated from blending that. So I'm going to use the normal brush that I would use to bronze the rest of my face up. I'm gonna go in with my eye makeup next. When I was looking at the drugstore for what I wanted to get in terms of eye makeup, I saw these. They really reminded me of their little pots they have. They're just like a cream eyeshadow in a little pot and you stick your finger in and put them on. Those dry out so fast in my opinion, you could not keep them very long. But I always really liked the color, especially the bronzy color, I forget what it was called. So these reminded me of those. I decided to get the color Bronze Truffle, which is number 725. And these are the Maybelline New York Color Tattoo 24 Hour Crayon. That is what it looks like. I kind of like to just, they're very creamy by the way. They go on very well. They're not like hard to put on. But on a normal day, I would reach for this product more than doing like a full eye look because this is very easy and fast. Nothing major, just a little bit of a color to my lid, but I definitely like this. I think it's very creamy and I love the color. I'm a big fan of a dark brown on my, just all over my lid for like daily wear. You can even use this as a base for like just powdered eyeshadow. I've been using the NYX Sculpt and Highlight. Um, I ran out of the brow product I was using and I went for this at the store a few weeks ago. I don't know if I'm completely in love with it yet, but I'm gonna use it today. So I just like to add a little bit of color to my eyebrows. I don't really, I'm not like lacking in eyebrows as you can see, which is a blessing, but I like to add a little bit of color to them to make them not look so drab. So I really honestly don't do much to them. And then this side is the highlighting side of it, and you're just supposed to put that like right under your eyebrow. And then I'm gonna just stick this same highlight right in the inner corner of my eye. So next is mascara, and I love trying new mascaras. And I went for the Maybelline New York, the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. I've seen this advertised a few places, and I wanted to try it. Most of the time I'm a fan of Maybelline's mascaras out of any of the drugstore mascaras. The Maybelline ones always seem to work for me the most. Let's see what the wand looks like. That's always like the big deal to me. Oh. I like it. The bristles. I love the bristles. I like when there's a lot of them and they're really close together. And this doesn't look like a plasticky wand. It looks like a real bristle wand. Um, yeah. I really like this wand. Um, I really like this. What do you think? So next I'm going to put some blush on and I'm going to use this position so I'm like, guys, I've been using this for like over a year now. It has been my favorite for a long time. Sometimes I like to layer my blushes over it to get a little bit more of that pinky shade in. And since today I have a more neutral eye look, I'm going to put another blush on. So I'm going to use this NYX Mobbin' Out um, blush. And this is a very, um, almost red color. So you definitely need like the lightest touch of this. You don't need a lot to get a good amount of product on your brush and look how much it like I always have to um, go in with my powder brush after and blend this out because it's so strong I mean so strong look at it I'm not walking around like that I'll just blend it moving on to a highlighter I did get a highlighter to use today this is the Maybelline the master strobing stick this is in medium nude glow 200 I swatched this and it was so pretty and very creamy, so let's put this on. I am actually going to go in with that sponge, this one again on the other side. And I'm going to kind of try to blend it because they say this is for highlight and contour. I don't know guys, I don't like this brush at all. It's not like a normal highlighter I would go for. 
It definitely feels good on the skin, very smooth, and it's not like an overpowering highlight. And I think it would be a great base for a highlight too. So I'm going to go with my Becca highlighter that I mentioned in a recent favorites video. That is so cracked, it's so sad, but hey, we still won't use it. And I'm just going to put it over top of that. Okay, we're getting down to the end here. I bought the L'Oreal Paris, um, it has two sides. It has a number one and a number two. So you open this up like this, and the directions of how to use it are over here, which is a little weird in my opinion, but anyways. It says, apply a thin layer of the lip color onto clean lips. For best results, allow to dry for two minutes. And then it says apply a polishing balm, reapply as needed. So when I was in the store, the first thing that drew me to these is that they were long wearing and it wouldn't like transfer. And then the second thing that drew me in was the color because I really liked the color. And then I swatched it and let me tell you, I was not expecting for it to be that long wearing. I showered today when I got back and it was not coming off. I had to get out of the shower when I was done and use a makeup remover that was oil based to get it off. So, you know these should probably stay. So, clean lips. The tip of this is really nice because it's pointed and you can almost use it as like a lip liner. So I put this on. It's feeling a little sticky, but it says to wait two minutes before you use the other side. It's getting stickier as I wait here. One thing about this, I know it has another side, but they don't give you a lot of the actual color, if you ask me. For how big this is, I feel like this should be a little bit bigger. All right, second side. So I took this off, and it's just a clear balm, which is very good because this is really sticky still. Hmm. This smells really good, almost like candy and cake or something. I don't know, and it's very moisturizing. I definitely like this a lot. Let's see it, the test, okay. Nothing came off, just some gloss, because you know, I just put the gloss thing on, but my color is still on. Very glad about that. Okay, so that is it for this Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed me putting on these products and trying them out for the first time with you guys. I definitely enjoyed doing this video. I Like I said, I love trying out new makeup. It's so fun to open the product and see if you end up liking it or not, and I liked it even more doing it with you guys. Please leave a comment down below on your favorite drugstore product right now. I would love to hear what things I should try next. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified when I post a new video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!